that stupid shirt. Been a long time I ate this much food and didn't feel stuffed. My guess is my body's requesting it because I'm not craving food. Like, it's certain food that's like, we need this. Like, lately it's been nuts. But I am worried because, like, I only want macadamia nuts. Pistachio nuts break me out, so I can't even mess with those. I don't know. YouTube was good. It's your boy, the American African. I feel like a bad boy today. I'm not weighing myself. I'm not checking my blood pressure. I'm not measuring my body. I am gonna take my apple cider vinegar though. I'm gonna do the things I hate the most, you know? The hard things. I, I don't know. Something just says don't weigh yourself. You don't need to see that number today. Just uh, fast today, you know? Fast until you actually need to eat. And then when you need to eat, eat some lean food like chicken, turkey, fish, you know? So that's my plan right now. And even when I eat, I'm gonna keep my calorie load under 1200. I'm, if I can, I'm gonna stick with like around 800 calories just from the actual meat. But then when you add in like oil, butter, or whatever, then you get some extra calories, right? But yeah, that's my plan. I want to see with the lower, like half the amount that I used to eat, how I feel. I think I'll be fine, you know? I think I'll be fine. I think my body's requested certain nutrients, certain food, but not actually like requesting a lot of food, you know? And I think that's why I've just been at maintenance for six days. You know, today's day seven. I haven't lost any weight. The person that I'm helping, she's lost 10 pounds. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny. It's funny because it's like, at least, that, at least that shows that I know what I'm talking about. For whatever reason, it's not working for me, but I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh... All right. I like to do a spotlight on a hero. A hero, a hero named Magnesium, okay? Magnesium is a hero. All right, anytime I can't sleep, I put a tablespoon or two of this and some water, and it works. It works. It works. I don't need melatonin. I don't need valerian root. Magnesium, that's it. Naturally relaxes you, puts you to sleep with time. Someone said they don't want me using tap water, so back to the filtered water we go. Here we go. Every morning, like a charm, gets that stomach ready. Gets that stomach going, a little bit of acidity, a little bit of that zing. Fuck, I hate it though. I think I'm gonna go to the gym today by 11 and you know, see how that session goes and then possibly have another gym session by say 9 p.m. ish. Yeah, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stay off the cardio for now until I'm back in the fastest state. That's my plan. All right, so I just got home. Day seven, the grocery haul. I bought more nuts. You know, my plan this week is, uh, I might be using the wrong term, but to deload, okay? like fuck it i shouldn't say for this week okay it's not for this week it's for today 
It's for today. Okay, I got some chicken in the fridge, so I'll marinate it. Got some lemons, diuretics, you know. Got some avocados. My body's been craving avocado, eggs, and um, what you gonna call it? Fish, so. I have canned tuna as well. So, I mean, this is, this is where we at for today. Day seven, you know, looking at the receipt. Spent about 29 bucks, you know, for these items. But this is the last day of uh, overspending. You know, I'm gonna try and keep my grocery to under 100 bucks a week now. As far as seasoning goes, got some mustard seed, got some cayenne pepper. I'm sorry, this is the mustard seed. This is white pepper. And this is sage. Sage is becoming my new favorite after rosemary. Let's get it. Yeah. I haven't seen any of those cockroaches. They must be don't break. Maybe they kind of be hitting them hard too. <laughs> I try not to put anything in my pantry. I'm overeating. I'm working on it, but you know, can't go wrong with this. So this will be used with this. You feel me? And as you can see, both of these are about one point twenty. You know, a pound and a quarter. So these combined. Two and a half pounds. The good news is very little fat, you know. Bell and Evans. It's usually very good. Organic. I just don't know if it's uh, sustainable or these are like caged chickens, you know. It's crazy, man. When you get money, you start to think about weird shit that you didn't think about when you were poor, you know. It says raised without antibiotics, all vegan diet. Oh, it says humanely raised. Okay. We'll have to figure out what that means, though. Hmm. When you start getting money, you don't care no more. Got my salt. We're going to crack some black pepper on top of the chicken when I'm done. I've never done it that way before. Rosemary. I hate raw rosemary, so we're going to crack that. You know, we're definitely going to put some garlic in there, you feel me? Some garlic, some garlic, you know what I'm saying? Some garlic in there. Put a little bit of ginger, you know. Don't really need ginger with chicken. It's not my thing, but I would, someone told me about it a long time ago. And I don't know. I've still been experimenting. We're going to use some basil. Even though we got some sage and rosemary, we're going to use a little bit of basil. I like basil because it's sweet, you feel me? A little bit of basil. At the end, maybe we'll put some cilantro on top. Uh, nah, we're going to save that for like real meat, uh, red meat. We're going to use the Herbs de Province, which is also good for, uh, yeah, we're going to save both of these. See, I use dill for fish, and I use, you know, things like these sort of herbs for um, red meat, like steak especially. This is, I was talking about the roaches. I found one. See that little nigga right there? Misery. These guys been all over my house for the past two years. I refuse to call them exterminator, but I realized I can never kill them all. They have a nest, you know, so I'm going to call an exterminator one day. <laughs> Time to make my world famous marinade, you know, put some oil in there. Not too much, you know. Okay, so you're gonna use some ACV, you feel me? Put just a little bit of ACV in there, we need some acidity. You know, that's a little too much, but you know, you put too much, you're gonna taste that shit. So don't put too much unless you like sour food, you feel me? All right, and now we're gonna get it cracking, okay? Put some salt in there. You know, and the powdered salt is better. You know, I, I mix both of my salts together, but you want the powdered salt because it will actually melt. You don't really need too much. 
But I don't add salt after the, the food is made. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna cook two packages. You could always add salt though at the end. So that's enough. Again, this is just marinade. You know, I don't know how long I'm gonna marinate this, but at least an hour. Um, we're gonna put just our powders in there for the most part. A little bit. Oh, you know I love garlic. So, hey, there's no little bit. All right. Some ginger. Ginger is very strong, so I don't like to use too much. Very strong. And you know, this is marinade. So, I mean, the base was not going to really enter the chicken, but I don't really put anything on top of my chicken. So, you know, I put it in there now. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. All right. Now, this is a big one, okay? This is, um, oh, no, nah, this is not. Yeah, this is a big one, though, but it's not the biggest one. This is just white pepper. You know, white pepper is very expensive, but I bought it for this purpose, so. You know, I like my peppers. All right, that's that white pepper. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some cayenne pepper in there. All right, some cayenne pepper. Want a lot, okay? You know, I love hot food, but my body can't handle it, so. You know, I do like every other day, or every two or three days, today's the day. All right, this is that mustard seed. This is the most important. I learned about mustard and chicken a long time ago, but it's very important, okay? And lastly, sage. I love sage. Again, it's not gonna enter the chicken, but it's not gonna really work in the marinade, but at the end, I'll taste it. So we put some sage in there too, all right? That's what it looked like. My bad, I forgot to add, add water. <laughs> Gotta put some water in there, okay? You don't want it to be too watery. All right, this is good for uh, two and a half pounds of chicken, though. This is good. You know, you're gonna shake it up, mix it up a bit, okay? And then we're gonna let the chicken sit inside of that. Now, of course, you gotta do a taste test. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna let's do it quick. It actually tastes very mustardy. I guess I did put a lot of mustard seed in there. I taste some salt. I taste some herb. Uh, I taste the pepper. I don't taste any garlic. Uh, I taste a hint of garlic just now. We're gonna finish the garlic. I really love garlic, so. <coughs> I'd rather this be the overwhelming taste. <laughs> all right. So we got that all good to go. Now we're gonna put the chicken in. And I like Bell and Evans packaging, you know? Very simple packaging. I don't know why more companies can't be like this. Look at this. No knife or scissors needed. You know? My goodness, good pricing, organic, humanely raised, good packaging, like Bell and Evans. Well fucking done. I mean, I don't know who runs the company, but that person has a head. Okay. You don't, you don't see any water lingering in there. Like everything is just well done. So I always look for Bell and Evans. You know, I always look for it. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, all the chickens inside, okay. See that? Now, I, I use too much something, like maybe too much water, because I, I don't I don't really like it to be watery, my marinade anymore. When I first started, <laughs> I wanted the water, the liquid to submerse the meat, but now I've learned the less liquid, more, uh, osmosis? I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I should get what I'm saying. All right. I'm not using my offhand because you know, I touch chicken with it. Get a healthier by the day, you know? Always use Ziploc bags, which is a waste of money. Okay, it's a big waste of money, but because, you know, not that like I can reuse it now. These things are expensive. 
But you see, now I buy the store brand. Even though I like actual Ziploc, the company, I buy the store brands. So now, I'm gonna put this in the fridge, just like that, okay? Put it in the fridge, make sure it's, it's sealed so nothing gets out. All right, we're gonna let it sit like that for a while. All right, let's say two hours, okay? We're trying. We are trying, you know? I look good, I feel good, you know? I got a suck in my stomach. I look good, I feel good, but you know, we trying, man. We trying. The weight ain't dropping, but we trying. We ain't gonna look at the scale for a few days, okay? It's good for my mental health. I don't wanna quit. So, you know, we kind of talked about this before. I like to weigh our food, get exact measurements. Got two avocados. You know, we know a pit weighs around 50 grams. So we'll subtract that. A lot of people may not understand why I weigh my food. They might think it's too much work. But imagine when you get things down to an exact science. And also, when I go into bodybuilding, like real bodybuilding, like, you got to measure everything to make sure that you hit your goals. You know what I'm saying? Bodybuilding season is coming soon, yo. By fall, I'll be there. Okay. Just got to get that pit out. Never works for me. And I'm afraid to do it with a real knife. So, okay, so that's a bad move. I was supposed to weigh that pit. Very funny guy sometimes. Uh, let's make sure we don't make that mistake again. Okay, very funny guy. Okay, got the pit back. Reset. Now we see how much the pits weigh. And as you can see, about 67 grams, these two pits. Trash the pits, take the avocados. Now well, we gotta reset the scale again. Okay, scale is reset. Without the pits, 324 grams. Now we make some, uh, I don't like to call it guac. I'll say it's my version of guac. I get messier the more I work with avocado. Like I'm getting worse in my skills in handling the avocados. Very strange. So yeah, just a little bit of rosemary, you know. Crack some black pepper in there. I used, I used to put a lot, but I'm just trying to go lighter these days. You know, I want to work on my finesse game. Okay, a little bit of rock and a little bit of powder. You know, you have it. So avocado deluxe. I like having some chunks in there. You know, it's nice. Not this type of chunk, though. That's skin. <laughs> I'm thinking also. I have a can of tuna. Since my body's craving this omega-3, I believe I'm gonna feed that beast. I might have two cans, cause it's only 1.5 per serving. And I didn't put any, I, I got the ones with no olive oil, but we start with one can, see how that goes. All right, let's go ahead and work on this chicken. It's time to do work, son. All right, we got our chicken here. It's been marinating. 
All right. Being that I'm using a rack, I don't gotta worry about getting it, making it dry. Normally you wanna make it dry so that it can be crispy, okay? Put foil down there so it makes the job of cleaning up much easier. I'd be like, how is it that I'm hitting all these da 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 You know? But one thing I can say is I'm definitely not following my macros to the T. Like, with protein, I'm, I'm, I'm loading up on protein because I'm working out, you know? Some rosemary on that beat. You can crack some black pepper on that beat. I feel like I'm missing something, you know? I forgot to add onion powder, but I think it's too late. I don't think that uh, it will actually help me. So I'm gonna keep it like that. And now we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on top, okay? Okay, drizzle, drizzle. This will help it get crispy, you know, hopefully. Sometimes it works. We want the top to be like charred, like it was grilled, you know, without actually braising it in a pot. I'm too lazy to braise. So that's my little trick. It usually doesn't work, but it used to. And there we have it. Now we're gonna put it in the oven. Once the oven reaches 440 degrees. So I got the alarm. The oven is now at 440 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead put the chicken inside. Okay. Should we do for YouTube? I almost dropped it. I'm gonna set that timer. 25 minutes. Probably won't even take that long. I'm gonna set this timer to 22 minutes. Now we go take a shower. Nice and icy. So icy boys. Here, have some. We on day seven, you know, physique wise, it's coming in, you know, it's coming in, it's coming in well. I'm very happy with what I see, but number on the scale wise, body fat percentage wise, not happy. Um, you know, I'm at a weird point in all this weight loss shit where it's like, I already know there's no one to be mad at. Can't be mad at the scale, can't be mad at the food, can't be mad at the diet. I can only fine tune things or stick to a script until I see that 100% is not working, you know? 
if I do keto diet for six days, coming out of a water fast, and the weight stays the same, plus I'm doing cardio, I'm doing strength training, you know, if the weight stays the same, then that means I'm eating that maintenance, right? Maybe I have so much metabolism slowdown that I'm just, I've just been actually eating that maintenance, you know, or maybe my body is just scared to let go of energy right now because it's like, I don't know when I'm going to get it again. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. So what I decided to do for the past like 24 hours um, is just eat. Ketogenic food though, you know. So yeah, to wrap up day seven, you know, day seven was, um, it was a fun day. You know what I'm saying? I did it all today. I biked, I hit the gym twice. I ate what I liked, keto style though, for the most part. I took poop, you know, it was a nice day, beautiful weather, everything was good. It's just that the weight has stalled. So I decided that I was gonna throw at my body what it's asking for in doses but a lot of doses today and you know i already know my weight's gonna go up so i'm not gonna weigh myself for probably like the next three days and then i'm gonna get back into the game you know we gotta listen to our body at the end of the day i don't know why this has happened um i never saw it coming but you know it's time that uh, I guess reality hit me, you know. I used to feel like Superman when it came to weight loss. But now, you know, imagine. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it still comes in. It still comes down to calories in, calories out, okay. I was eating too much, obviously. I'm sorry, not eating too much. I was eating just enough. That's why my weight has just plateaued for six days. Um. So, enough of that, all right. Next three days, I'll probably be water fasting. It's in my mind. It's in my spirit. I'm, that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, the only difference between this water fast and my other water fast is that during this water fast, I'll still go to the gym. I'll still ride my bike. I probably just won't jog. My foot, I, I decided I'm going to let it heal up. Maybe it'll take a week, maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks. I don't know. But everything happened for a reason, I guess. So I'm just going to let that play out. I'm tired of the pain, you know, I've been using the, the pumice stone on it. It works, but uh, I'm not about that life. Like, I don't feel like doing that. I'm th I've been thinking about going to see a specialist or, you know, all sorts of things. But for now, I'm just going to keep using the pumice stone because I'm hard headed. <laughs> so during this um, seven days, I guess you got, I, I guess we can't include today because today was one of those days where I just said, I'm going to throw everything at my body. It's just that for some reason, I don't want to leave ketosis. So I'm not intentionally trying to leave ketosis. If I leave ketosis, it's only because I ate a lot of good ketogenic food and the carbs just added up. But I don't feel like I've left ketosis. I don't know though. So, yeah, what I've been doing right is I've been following a ketogenic diet, okay? I've been following my fasting, the 24 warrior diet. I've been doing heavy cardio, strength training. I've been praying every day. And I've been coaching the person that uh, made me start this series. It didn't make me, but, you know, I, I when I created the first video, it was for her. It was so she can see all that I do in order to achieve this. And she knows that it's, it's deeper than just, hey, I want to lose weight, so I'm going to lose weight. It could be like that, but if you want to lose weight, you want to understand what's going on, this is the game. The funniest thing is I don't know if she watched the video, but that's that, you know, it is what it is. All right. 
Um, things I haven't been doing right. <laughs> I have not been sleeping. I have not been sleeping, man. I sleep like two hours, three hours, four hours. I mean, but there are days where I sleep six hours. You know, once I wake up, I don't care how uh, uh, zombie mode I am. Once I'm up, I'm up. You know, that's how I be feeling. There was only one day, I think, this week where, or I should say in the past seven days, where I forced myself to go back to sleep. Because it's because I only had got one hour of sleep. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this. I don't know why my mind is even like this, like so restless, you know? Um, so yeah, I haven't been resting or sleeping enough. Um, I think I've been eating too much protein that my body can take right now. I do get the performance in the gym, you know, but without carbs, it's it's a different game. I can't wait to eat carbs again. Rice, just plain white rice. I, I probably will mess with pasta too. When that time comes, you know, when it comes. Yeah, um, and then my fiber intake has been non-existent. Other than, you know, yeah, because I haven't even been eating green. So, other than maybe fiber from, like, the avocado I had on day one, I haven't been taking in fiber. And I noticed that my bowel movement was low. So, today I've been taking in, since yesterday, was it started yesterday? Yeah, I've been taking in massive amounts of, of fiber by way of macadamia nuts. Plain and simple. I also ate two avocados today, too, though. <sighs> so... The fiber solution worked. You know, I pooped three times today. The protein, cutting down on the protein is tough because I like it. You know, I didn't, you know what's crazy is when I first started this weight loss journey, I didn't pay attention to protein at all. Like, I didn't care what my protein levels was. But I saw it in my physique when I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah. So, my solutions to this 30-day challenge so I can get back on track, you know, it's going to be fasted cardio, number one, okay? But that's something that I have to prepare for for the next three days. I have to mentally prepare for it, and I'm also going to practice it, you know? So once I reach what I would consider like a fasted state, and I don't know, I'm going to start doing some cardio, some lifting of weight, see how I feel, Check, keep checking my heart rate. And once I start that in a fasted state, it's game over, you know? I just have to know when to stop. So, yeah, I'm going to do the three-day water fast to reset. I'm going to be trying to force myself to sleep, you know. Um, when I do eat, I'll be doing a cutting diet, you know, just lean protein. Um, and I'm going to be doing fasted cardio. That's that's my solutions to my weight stall. Um, other than that, it's just, a, it's just a time heals all wounds thing, you know. Um, being that I'm fasting... It's going to take time, you know, it's going to, it just being that I just came, or I came out of the fast a week ago, it takes time for metabolism, metabolism to get back on track, but I think it's, I feel like it should be, I mean, I, you know. so yeah, if you remember last year, if you guys were here, you know, during this time of the year, I was eating just like chicken every day, drumsticks, like every day, and it worked, if it's not broke, don't fix it, you know, I don't know why turkey meat didn't work. I don't know why, well, I mean, I know why the fattier meats didn't work, but turkey meat has pretty much the same protein to fat ratio, but I didn't get the same results with turkey. I definitely like to taste more than chicken. Ground, I'm talking ground turkey versus ground chicken, but yeah, um, the drumsticks, I enjoy it. It's, it's cheaper than organic turkey, so, you know, organic chicken drumsticks. That's where I'm going to be at once I start eating again. I'll just eat like two to three pounds of that a day. And I'll go crazy with the running and the strength training. And it'll be fun. When that day comes, it's your boy, the American African. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, my next set of videos, please be patient. It might just be me sitting in front of the camera like this and talking because it's not that I'm tired of recording everything that I do. But the next three days, if I do post videos, they're most likely going to be quiet. Like, I don't say a word, but I just show what I do. I always wanted to kind of do an ASMR weight loss, so that's what that's about. Plus, I feel like I need to shut up and just listen to myself. <laughs> I'm so restless. 
So yeah, man, like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for rocking with me on this journey. I know I'm failing right now, but I'm actually learning. You know, it's things that I already know, some of this stuff, but I'm learning, you know. Even getting this callus on my foot, I'm learning from it. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Oh, yeah, bow your head and pray. Pastor Forlight and entered the building. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the almighty name of Jesus. Lord God, thank you so much for the strength you've given me, the energy you've given me, the life you've given me, you know, the journey that I've been on, everything I've been able to overcome, turning around my health, fighting obesity, sharing with the world. Helping loved ones, helping people I meet along the way, being able to, you know, be a positive influence, and give people something to look forward to in their own life too, as they work on achieving a better health, just like I'm trying to work on. This uh, <laughs> seven days has been challenging, not actually, but just scale wise, just like the weight isn't dropping, the body fat isn't dropping. So it's been challenging to a point that today I threw sicko out the window just for one day and I just ate ketogenic style though. I still want to stay ketogenic. I don't want to eat uh, sugary stuff and stuff like that. But um, I did it to just throw my body a lot of whatever. But the craziest thing is I'm still hungry, you know. So, what I've decided to do is to water fast, Lord. Now, it's very weird to me that for seven days, or we say six days, my weight didn't move. All I could think is that metabol I have metabolism slow down, you know, and I'm eating too much protein. You know, but at the end of the day, I know you're in control because this whole journey that I'm on, you've been the one that's been in my corner. You've been the one guiding me. You know, now I'm just grateful for your push. I know at the end of the day, you have a plan for my life. You have a plan for even this particular challenge that I'm on. Um, I pray you fortify my health. I pray and I'm grateful for the energy that you've given me and that you'll give me. I want to go into fasted cardio. Fasted cardio is extremely effective for me. You know, there's some days when I do fasted cardio and I can lose five pounds. Fasted cardio does have its danger if my intensity is too much and I'm too far into a fast, you know, days into a fast. I remember last year, I think it was in April, on day eight of a water fast, I jogged eight miles. On day nine, another eight miles. Day 10, another eight miles. You know, still in the water fasting. I don't know that I want to do that. Because when I did that, I just had energy for some reason. But what I want to do is simple, fasted cardio while coming out of an intermittent fast. So eating every day. But before I start that, I want to go into a water fast where while I'm water fasting, I do short bursts of high intensity exercise. I have a lot of energy and I'm very restless. Lord. I just pray that you guide me. I pray <laughs> you teach me how to listen when I know I should stop. And at the end of the day, I pray that at the end of this, at the end of this 30 day challenge, I lose 10, 20 or 30 pounds. I don't want to fail because I feel that I'm doing everything right. Just teach me how to listen to myself more carefully. I plan to be quiet the next three days, but I know you'll speak to me. I know you'll speak to everyone on their journey. I pray you forgive me of all my sins, all the sins I commit knowingly and unknowingly. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.